Hey guys, it's Hogan here, and today I'm going to show you something really amazing. And this is a parallax effect, but it's a little different. It's what I call a dual parallax effect. So it's a basically like a little hidden feature of the Themify Ultra theme. And it's really simple to do. You don't need Photoshop or anything, and um, it'll be really quick as well. But the really cool thing is that you can also apply it for different applications, such as adding a video on the back. But even cooler, you can also add in a different image and you can completely change the feel of that image. For example, this is the original image and it doesn't look as epic, but once you actually apply it, it feels like you know, you're actually there in the apartment overlooking Central Park and you feel totally immersed in it. So if you show your clients or you know your friends, I think they'll really love it. It's really simple to do. So without much further ado, I'm going to begin the tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial, we'll basically need two different images. One image for the front image, which will be our laptop, and the back image. Okay, the back image can be a landscape image or a picture of you or anything that you want. I'm going to be showing you how to do it step by step from choosing the image and also cropping it out because that's the most important part. Okay, so what we need to do is let's search for laptop and you can use like a phone or um, any screen or basically anything you want but a laptop is just a really good example to show you and um, I've chosen an image already so this is that one that we want to choose and we want to download that to our computer so click on download and right click save as and you want to make sure you name that image you want to keep everything organized save that image and we're going to look for a back image okay so Let's go to the home page. I found one before, which was nice. Okay, so you can pick any image that you want. Okay, this image here. So click on that, and we're gonna download that to our computer as well. So save image as, and this will be a boat. Click on save. Okay, so we've got two images. Now we need to edit the image. Okay, so to edit our, edit our image, we need to go to pixlr.com. So this will basically be our Photoshop substitute. You can edit images for free, but if you have Photoshop, then you can use that as well. So launch web app, and then basically um, open image from your computer, because we're gonna crop that image, and click on that. We're going to crop the laptop image first. Click on open. Okay, so as you can see, the image here is about 3,000 times, about 2,300 pixels. And that is pretty big. We want to minimize the size. So we want to edit the image size. And I want to change it to about 1366. Okay, so that's probably about the minimum of minimum size that I generally use. Because um, we're going to be saving this as a PNG, which basically means the file is going to be like really big. So um, we're going to save it so it's like a really small file to minimize the file size. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to zoom in a little bit so I can see that. And now I want to crop that image. Okay, so I want to crop it to about a 800 in height. Okay, so you can see here the width here is 1366 and I want the height to be about 800. So I want to drag it down a little bit to 800. Okay, and then you can move it to wherever you want. So that looks about good. Okay, so once you've selected the image, then just click on the outside and do you want to apply? Click on yes. Okay, now you've got that image there. We want to crop out the inside of the screen. Okay, so to do that, we need to select this marquee tool up here. And I want to zoom in a little bit so I can see it a little bit clearer. Zoom in about 80%. And basically all you need to do is just hold it and pull it and crop it out, okay? and you can do it more perfectly than me but that looks about good okay now what you want to do is before you delete it we need to um, unlock the lock thing here so double click on it and it'll turn into a tick and then you need to delete it and then it'll disappear okay so you've got to see these checkered box boxes okay that's what makes it transparent inside and once you've done that I want to also um, change the color of everything to black and white so what I want you to do is click on Control or Command A to select the whole entire image. Go to Adjustments and click on Desaturate. Okay, and that will change everything to black and white. And we're going to save it now for now. 
and let's save it as PNG, okay? So as you can see, that file is about 700 KB, which is pretty big. So you probably don't want to apply, um, you know, many of these on one single page. Otherwise, the page will be really slow. So click on OK for now. And let's save it as laptop front, okay? Because this will be a front image. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to create the back layer. Now to do that, because we want to put everything exactly in this um, viewing space, we need to measure where we put our image. Okay, so what we need to do now is click on new image and let's title this um, back. And for the width of it, you want to note down the size here. Okay, so as you can see where my mouse is, it's 1366, okay, in width. You want to make it exact size, okay, and the height is 800. And the reason for that is because when the size, the screen resizes, then the back image will resize the same, okay? So everything will be in proportion and that way you can actually see the back image properly all the time. So click on OK. Now you've got the just a blank white space, okay? So what I want to do is I want to go back to this image here and I want to set this to about 50%, okay? And then I want to drag this down a little bit, click on the back image, and I want to set this one to 50% as well. Okay, so basically what we're going to do now is measure um, measure the location of that blank space. Okay, so to do that, what I normally do is I just click on this mouse, um, I mean this um, arrow key here, and I normally just grab that, okay, and then just put your mouse over about here, okay, from where the screen starts. Okay, and if you look on the top right, the navigator thing, you'll see the X and Y axis. Okay, so focus on the X axis, and you should see about 360 now. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, that's when the screen starts. Okay, so now if you put your mouse over to the right hand side to where the screen ends, it ends at about, let's say, let's keep it something like 99995. Okay. So keep those two figures in mind, and we need to measure it out and draw the lines for this blank white space. So if we get this tool here, click on this shapes thing and select a line. I might change the opacity to about 25%. And basically all you need to do is you need to draw the line. So put your mouse over here to about 360. And all you need to do is click on it and drag it down and make sure it's 360 as well right now that will ensure a straight line okay and this is really important okay so make sure that is 50% um, zoomed in for your original um, front image and also 50% for your back image okay because otherwise it won't the lines won't align properly okay so then what we need to do is draw the second line and that one was about 995 Okay, so make sure you get that 995, which is about there. Okay, 994, that's good enough. Um, let's drag it down. Make sure it's about 994 as well, and then let go. That would mean that when you put an image in here, it will appear here. Okay, so you don't want to, you know, not draw the lines because you might put the image there and not line up properly, and that's not good. So now what we need to do is import the um, that boat image. Click on open and let's import that boat file. And basically I just want to crop that image and put it in there. Okay, because the size is really big, I want to resize it. Let's resize it to about, change the height this time to about 1000. Okay, and let's zoom in a little bit. So zoom in about, maybe try 40%. It's pretty good. Then click on the crop icon here and let's crop out a size, okay? So to know what size we need to crop out is we need to measure from here to here. So it's about 995 minus about 36, um, 360. Uh, that would be about 635, 635 in width. Okay, so we've got to do some maths there. Um, I'll put it up on the screen but don't worry about that. Um, and then all you need to do is crop it out. So the width here, what we need is about 635, okay, 635. And we wanna make sure the height is 800. 
So move it down to about 800. Make sure that's 635. It doesn't have to be that exact, but try your best. 800, pull it down a little bit. Okay, that looks perfect. And move it into the center, just like that. And then what you need to do is click on the outside here and apply changes. Now Control A or Command A to select all. And Control C, which will basically copy that. Click on this back image here and Command V or Control V to paste that in. Now all you need to do is to basically just move that image in between those two lines. Okay, so put it there just like that. Okay, now that's done. All we need to do is just basically save that. And for this one, because it's the back image, we can save it as JPEG. Okay, and the file is pretty small, which is good. Click on OK. So just save it as back. Save that. And once you've done that, we can go back to our website. Scroll down. Let's turn on our builder. Scroll down here. Okay, and then click on the row options. You want to set the row width to full width. Click on styling and we want to upload our image. Okay, so you can upload a video or a slider if you want as well. But for this one, we're going to just upload an image, browse library, upload files, select files, and let's upload the back image here. Open and insert file URL. Okay, I think that's in there. And we can set the background mode to parallax scrolling and also change the position to center center. Okay and then click on save. Now for this part, we need to add in the front layer. So you might be wondering what do we do? And to do that, we just click on the column styling. Okay, so this will add the front layer. Click on that. And for the background image, we want to select browse library. And then we want to upload the um, laptop image from our computer. Okay, so this is one that I created earlier. And um, it's also in the um, template files for download down in the description. I've also added a um, a little reflection thing on it, so that's pretty cool. Well, anyway, so set it to full cover. Set the background position to center center as well. Scroll down, we need to add some padding. Deselect this. Set in about 25%. Okay, use percentages, because that would mean it resizes properly. And once you've done that, um, you can change the figures here depending on your size. Click on save. And then all you need to do is click on save as well. Close that. And then when you're scrolling down, okay, you see a beautiful image and it's totally awesome. Okay, so basically you can add in any image that you want. You can add in a video. You can change the image, um, change the background. You can add in a landscape image. Um, if you add in a landscape image, you probably don't need to um, crop it to the same same size for the back image. Um, it really depends, but if you're cropping out something very specific like this image here, then you're going to make sure you measure it properly. Okay, and that's about it. So I've also created some templates for you for download. So check that out and download that in the description. I've got some phones and some computers and the window thing as well. So you can try that out. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.